Ladies and gentlemen, he is Bayfang, the 2000 LP Kiana. I just noticed he's got a little bit of a cosplay on for us today. I don't know what's happening. Um, someone told me he lost a bet. He said he was going to get rank 1 on the super server in a month. And he ended up getting like rank 30. So I think maybe he had to do some type of little cosplay. And um, it's a bit distracting. But his combos is what's going to be the most distracting in this game. I hope. As we're into a Zed matchup, I love these spicy assassin on assassin matchups. It just feels like we don't get that anymore in the mid lane as they try and... I don't know what Ryde are trying to do. By the way, next patch, Kiana's even weaker because they're buffing Seeker's Arm Guard. Long has mages like me. We The Seeker's Arm Guard early rush. Do you remember how we used to do that to assassins? No one does it anymore because they nerfed it. But Seeker's Arm Guard is getting buffed next patch. So, hey, guess what? Assassin mains... Try another, try another angle. You know, maybe build full bruiser because lethality, I don't know. It just seems like they just nerfed Dusk Blade again. Um, they did buff the other items, the items like Prowlers. So you do get more damage hypothetically at the moment, but the invisibility of the Dusk Blade has removed. The untargetableness of the Dusk Blade has also been removed, but they will cancel incoming projectiles. Um, Riot Games, they don't really know how to balance the game. Everybody knows this. Um, EQ, W. Looking for the Q, doesn't quite get it. I'm looking for that level 3 all-in. And how many Kiana mains have I created with these videos? Only for the champion to get weaker and weaker over the years, and for my viewers to probably lose their minds as they lose their LP. I'm sorry, it's not my fault. My first Beifang video, he was probably at peak. Kiana was at peak skill. Prowler's Claw on Dominions. Possible. You know, that was the, the whole combo. It was insane. It was new. Full Lethality was insane broken. But here we are. Three years later, it feels like. And Beifang still popping out with the solo kills. As he takes the Zed down. And... Or he tanks two oh, tower shots. It's 100% worth it because the minion wave, if you get a solo kill under tower and the minion wave is crashing, it's always worth. Because watch when he comes back to lane, the, the wave's going to bounce back in him because the tower's going to kill the minions. It's a no-brainer. Small little things. If you see a stacked wave going to the enemy tower and you have a one, you you have a, a all-in opportunity, but it's like 50% or 45, 55. Me, I say take it. Take the risk if they're under tower with the wave because if you get the kill... Game over, you know, and live. If you go one for one, still good. But if you die, you know, it's terrible. But at least you're not going to miss a wave because you've already hard shoved. As Eve looks for the gank, doesn't get it. Moves in, playing so aggressive here. Electrocute set up. He ha oh, auto Q. Gets it. Careful for the Eve. And he might need to trim this wave slightly and then look for the reset. Let's see what his plan is. Yeah. Always learn, like, wave and back timings from these high-level mids, okay? You might see him. Is he going to go for a... If he goes for a hard shove, it's going to take him a while. I would just base like that. Bang. These type of bases I first learned when I versed Faker and Caps. They kept doing these type of bases in lane, and I just could never find a way to get CS or XP advantages because I felt like every base they had... They just coming up with massive advantages. Zed gets the shove though, so it's not even like because he took too much. He took too much time. He had to have insta based, but he'll still come back to a wave. As um, world championships are starting up in less than a month, gentlemen. If you guys are interested, we probably have the most stacked world champion lineup we've ever had in League of Legends. I'm not gonna lie, it is so stacked. This world, don't miss it. I will be doing tracking the pros on my live stream on my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash midbeast. I won't be doing any giveaways like my cousin Mr. Beast. I'm poor. I can't even afford the new Kian the, the, the new Talia skin, bro. Dude, I, I, in like the little gems things, I don't do the events. It costs like $400 from masterwork chests. In this economy, I'm sorry. I'm not paying $400 for a pretty little skin. I won't do it. I'll wait for the battle pass. Fuck you, right, game? Straight up. Anyways, not complaining. A couple more. I mean, a couple more Kiana Beifang reviews. I don't have my Dopa reviews to go off anymore. Cash cow de deleted. I need a new Dopa. There'll never be a new Dopa. 
It's a nice wig. He actually... Okay, I'm just gonna stop there. Um, I reckon we can look for the all-in. EQR will just instantly kill. EQ doesn't get it. Now he can't. If he pulls the trigger here, the Zed has the W behind him, so he has to wait it out. And he does. He got, eats the plate. And once again, we might go for the one for one. Let's see. He doesn't even need ult here. EQ with the ignite. And he'll go down. Just dies. Fiddlestick might... Yeah, shove that out. Shove, 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 shove. Beautiful. Underrated pick. Fiddlestick. Fiddlestick gets played a lot in China by boosters. When you when, when when these high elo junglers go down into lower elos, Fiddlestick is a great jungler to completely 1v9 games with. You can genuinely jump into team as 5 and kill them all. Super underrated champion, doesn't get played enough. Fact. As... I don't know if I've, I've discussed it, but like... We have three League of Legends patches next year. Three of them. This year we got two. Next year we get three. What's next, guys? What's next? There'll be a, there'll be a new season every single month. Encouraging us players to spam games. And buy your new little skins and give you money, right, games? What's going on? I'm conforming to, like, the Fortnite. The TikTok. The... I understand the, they want to put some type of priority on, like, playing at, at each time of the year, but... Two seasons to me and a preseason is fine, but now it's kind of just three seasons, full bore, not much of a preseason. I don't know, it's... It's interesting, I suppose. I don't mind it as a streamer, because I'm perma playing the game. But as, like, a casual gamer, I understand why you would get frustrated as hell having to, like, legit grind placements. Three times. It's a lot of stress. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of stress. And by the way, auto, auto EQ, WQ, auto EQ, WQ. Bang, bang. See you later, Zed. Zed 0.9. Zed 99 laughing. Um, yeah, it's a lot of stress doing the placement games. That's why we game. We game for emotions. We game for stress. I just keep looking down at that camera. Jesus. Chat, should I do a cosplay like this? Do you think? Let me know in the comments down below who you guys want me to cosplay as. I could do a really good Jace cosplay, I think. Or I could do something, you know. I could do something like... Uh, I could do like a Kai'Sa. I don't know. Just let me know, let me know if you guys want me to do a cosplay. I'll be down. Maybe as I hit a milestone or something on the channel. 500k subs coming up, by the way, if you wanted to subscribe. Maybe we could do it on that. As I think he just imported hacks. Uh, Beifang hacking reveal. Beifang at the moment, around about 1300 LP. Um, on the Chinese super server. The rank 1 player is, of course, Han Q, the Ezra main, about 1900 to 2000, last time I checked. It's hard to chat. A lot of people always ask me, Drew, where is the OP.GG on the... That was heckin' nasty. That's some OG Beifang right there. Where's the OPGG of, of Beifang in, in China? They don't have it. China have a separate leaderboard on Wii game. It's like... Because they got 20 different servers. It's so... I, even I get confused tracking it all. I normally look up ladder rankings. I look on, like, Beifang stream sometimes when he's playing his main, and I can see what, like, the leaderboard is, and I pause it. I recognize some names. Um, I used to have a Wii game access when I played in the Super Server, but as we all know, um, I don't think I'm ever going to be invited to play in the Super Server again after what happened last time. I don't think it's fair... But apparently China has spoken and I'm not getting a super server account again. So I need to... Ooh, all in. Auto. This could be a kill. He's way too far ahead and Zed is getting really impatient. I love when assassins get behind and they're like this ego thing where they just have to 1v1v1v1v1 1v1 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 1 over and over and over again to try and get a kill back because their ego can't take that they've lost. You've lost, bozo. Back it up and CS for a little bit. Drop the ego. League of Legends winning... 82.3% of the time, stat completely made up, is about dropping the ego and getting carried sometimes, or just simply 
doing trying to do your job rather than to try and be the star you know like um draymond green from basketball you know it's not about the stats you know you just chuck it around and yell a bit i don't watch basketball that's just what i read on reddit i don't know but it's like it's like that like sometimes dude you just don't you don't you're not the guy people are talking about but you're doing your job and you're getting your team a dub uh Beifang, he's not that guy he's a carry player but even when i was in korea like Isn't one of the number one hot? things a lot of people yeah, come in my stream hot. like bro you Two zero three, exactly. and your team's carrying you, and you're down 12, 12 CS. It's like yes, I'm down twelve CS. I dropped a couple of CS. Congrats! Wow, enemy mid lane. I got a CS lead. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't die. I play objectives around my junglers. Enemy mid laner wanted to take risks. If my jungle was there, he would have get ganked. He would have died, but he didn't. So he's up a few CS. Congrats to him. I'll drop the ego. I won't take the risks, but I'll explode their nexus. I won't give them the bounties. I won't do anything. Sometimes doing nothing is the best decision. And that's one of the hardest things about League of Legends. Is that sometimes doing the most boring thing is the most optimal. True, but we play games for fun. I always want to try and make the play. Losing is not fun. I don't lose. I win or I learn. And um, that's how you got to look at it, you know? If I'm losing, I'm not, I'm just a winner, you know? I'm born a winner, I am a winner. I don't lose. Or I learn. But I can't lose, because it just pisses me off. So, you know, I will do anything in my power to do that. So I'm not, if I'm losing, I'm not having fun. As we missed the Q2. Duskblade, Prowlers. On the bottom left, you see his runes, by the way. He has presence of mind. When he does that, he doesn't get a tier setup. Um, tier setup, I still think is... It's like, it's fun to do, and it's like highest damage output, but you forego your early spike. What a big words coming out. I'm feeling a little bit intellectual today. Um, I don't know what I'm saying, man. I lost my train of thought at how smart I was. My bad. You forego your early power spike, and then you're not able to snow the ball the game like you need to, you know? So usually it is Duskblade, Prowlers into Serralda's Grudge, and then if oh, you want no, situational, you can go for things like the GA. I love a good GA in solo queue. Um, let's be honest. GA for a lot of you guys and these these assassins is like a game changer. Stopwatch, not so much. When I do... When I check in on my friends and they're buying stopwatches, 97% of the time, they're not using the stopwatch correctly. I hate to say it, you're just not even using the hourglass correctly. Why are you buying these items and you don't even know how to use them or not using them timely? Just don't. You know, buy the Edge of Night, buy the Banshees, buy something else. You're not using it. I say this so many times. Sl sim simplify your items and your runes. So you don't have to think about them. It's a no-brain strategy to climb a lot of the time. Take away the TP, take away the item activate, uh, act, uh, act, activatable. Fade away Q, love to see it. Bay Fang, just running the map right now. He goes bot, he goes mid, he goes top, he goes junk. This say this say you snowball the game, okay? You don't run down mid, you just need to take over the entire map. 112 gold on the Zed. He wants to end his life in game. Congrats. We are sitting on 3,000 gold, I believe. Ah? Looking to be... It should be Prowlers into Grudge, let's see. Please buy Prowlers so that Mr. Bin Beast is not wrong on the itemization. Buy it! Prowlers bought. A Spear of Sojin? Spear of Sojin. I think we're a little bit far ahead, so this... Third item, I'm not going to recommend. I'm going to say it's for fun because we're snowballing so hard. Just can't stop looking down at that, that cosplay. Wow. Um, what's for words? Still pushing. Let's go. Mid beast, will Keanu be played at Worlds? No. If Keanu gets played at Worlds, I literally will shave my eyebrows off. They will be gone. 
clip it. Keanu doesn't get played because it's too high variance. No pro team in their right mind wants variance at that degree. Why would you ever risk playing an assassin like this? Oh, W, E, oh, I don't know if we even need the ultimate, but we got it. Auto. Jax will land it, but we do have the, the bush. And he'll come back in, full vision, trying to bait it out. Do it, Zed. 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 Q. EQ. 110 gold. That treasure hunter. Oh my god. I think this is like Master's MMR or something. It's not his highest ELO account, obviously. You can always tell the difference when he's like playing on a lower smurf on the super server and playing on his main. The tempo is way different. I just love to watch how he controls games as a high ELO player. It's how you guys should be envisioning your game. Q, EQ. It's how you should be envisioning how you guys take over your own games, you know? Like, there's not going to be this big of a skill gap, but it doesn't matter. If you get a few early kills, you need to be confident in yourself that you can take over. We have... Really? Spear of Sojourn? Really? Okay. Double long. I guess... What's Spear of Sojourn even do? It's it's autos will... Is it refund your basic ability cooldown? So he's trying to, like, max his Q. So that when he gets bushes, he just permabush. I mean... Is he wearing blush? Anyway, it's not my. Is that you got? Is he lipstick on as well? I don't know. I don't know. But even buy cosplay. I remember I once did buy, and this is the truth. I bought a pool party Caitlyn cosplay. I ordered it from a cosplay site. I ordered the largest. I ordered the largest they had. Straight up, it didn't fit. Like they don't make cosplays. They just don't make cosplays for men like me and you guys. We're structured differently to a normal cosplayer and i just genuinely think there's an open market for a cosplay website out there to like target towards specifically men with super broad shoulders and small waists i don't know million dollar idea just throwing them out there mid be shark tank what's up i'll invest in the company invest with my love and and, and shout out not with actual real money no way i'm just saving up for the talia new talia skin Jesus Christ. We're looking to wrap this game up. 15 kills in. Gentlemen, you have enjoyed hanging out with me and having, you know, Beifang here. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Who's the beauty? Who's the beast? I don't know. I'm losing my mind. Give us a couple more kills. W? He's thinking about it. He's thinking about flashing. He's thinking about it. Do it. No, she, she, I see her. Oh, she's out. We're chasing, no? Failed W over the bush. Brilliant. Just showcasing to us viewers that even sometimes you make mistakes. And I see, I keep keeping all this talk about the Roman Empire recently, chat. Oh, how much do you think about the Roman Empire? I think about it quite often. I think I would have made a great gladiator. About 700, um, before Christ, BC. Um, the Roman Republic wasn't an empire, um, was formed by allegedly two brothers. I think his name was Roman. Romanus, something like that. And he killed his brother, and then he named the city Rome, and then slowly conquered. Then I believe, at about like 200 BC, maybe they became an empire. As you had like, um, you know, a lot of great battles. And bad battles, it depends what side of the battle you are on. But, um, could you just imagine you and your buddies with swords and like shields and legit armor running onto a battlefield and swinging swords at people? Like, huh? I just can't fathom real life doing that. It'd be so awkward. I'd run up and be like, 
Do you have any other Like getting your arm cut off, like I'd be like, do we, do we, can you just want to go home, bro? I guess they didn't have League of Legends at home, so I mean, what do you have for, to live for without League of Legends? True. In game, of course, just hypothetical. As we're gonna end the game. Thanks for hanging out, gentlemen. I know I'm the king of yapping. I just sometimes like to watch a bit. Uh, ba oh, huge ult! <laughs> to end the game. Beautiful Bay Fang. Thank you for watching, gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all on the next review. Good night.